Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. Today I'll be sharing with you how diagnostic imaging computers outperform human counterparts. However, they could prove to be a lifesaver. A similar technology to the one that has been used to make autonomous cars could bring new levels of accuracy to the medical field and even save lives. Deep learning computers developed by Case Western Reserve University have been outperforming medical doctors in detecting cancer and diagnosing heart failure. With $9.5 million in funding from the National Cancer Institute, they've developed tools that could analyze digital pathology images of cancers of the lung, head, neck, and breast to accurately identify those patients who could be spared undergoing risky chemotherapy. For example, the researchers have found that their system is better than human experts in distinguishing malignant and benign lung nodules using CAT scans. This is a very valuable advancement when you consider the fact that around 98% of the nodules flagged by human radiologists as being suspicious turn out to be benign. The system could save people a lot of worry, not to mention unnecessary additional testing. The artificial intelligence system is so advanced that it predicted which people out of a group of 105 patients showed evidence of a pending heart failure with a 97% accuracy rate. The two pathologists who assessed the same group were only correct 73 and 74% of the time. In another study, they looked at prostate cancer scans in three countries the computation imaging algorithm caught clinically significant prostate cancer in MRIs in more than 70% of the cases where radiologists failed to detect it. Similarly, in half of the cases where radiologists had mistakenly identified someone as having clinically significant prostate cancer on MRIs, the machines correctly determined that the disease was not present. All of this is extremely promising, but the researchers would like to see further validation in bigger studies. Nevertheless, there is a huge amount of potential here to spare people unnecessary treatment and better identify those who need interventions. The machines are excellent at comparing and contrasting hundreds of tissue samples in the same amount of time that a pathologist needs to pour over a single slide and they can compile data and make predictions with ease. That doesn't mean that doctors should start worrying about losing their jobs to machines anytime soon. However, while the computers excel at doing things quickly and in high volumes with a great degree of accuracy, there will always be a need for doctors who manage people's health. Of course, like any technology, there are ways it could go wrong, but the high accuracy rates that have been demonstrated so far so that this technology could prove to be a lifesaver. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.